Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of Kazakhstan, Mukhtar Tluberdi, upon his visit to the kingdom. His Majesty hailed the strong bilateral relations between Bahrain and Kazakhstan and affirmed the kingdom's keenness on strengthening them for the well being of both friendly people. The Deputy Prime Minister conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings of Kazakhstan's President Qasim Jamarat Tokayev and his wishes of continued progress and development to Bahrain. His Majesty the King asked the Deputy Prime Minister to convey his greetings and good wishes to the president and the people of Kazakhstan on further progress and prosperity. His Majesty discussed with the Tluberdi ways to support and develop bilateral relations and enhance cooperation in all fields. His Majesty noted that such visits reflect the mutual keenness to develop joint work and enhance bilateral cooperation. For his part, Kazakhstan Deputy Premier has expressed appreciation to His Majesty the King for the generous hospitality and praised His Majesty for his support to strengthen bilateral relations. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa issued Royal Decree 16 of the year 2023, forming the Board of Directors of the National Communication Center, the NCC, based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. According to the decree, NCC Board of Directors shall be chaired by the Information Minister and comprised of the following members. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed al-Khalifa, Brigadier General Muhammad Mohammed bin Dayna, Ibtihal Ahmed al-Tawash, Dr. Arwa Hassan al-Sayyid Ali Ibrahim, Walid Khalid al-Sheikh. Members shall serve for a four-year term that can be renewed for other similar periods. And if for any reason the post of a member goes vacant, they shall be replaced by another member who will complete the term of their predecessor. NCC Board of Directors shall carry out the following tasks. Approve the general plans that ensure the achievement of NCC's goals. Develop the general guidelines for government media discourse. Adopt mechanisms that achieve the integration of plans and strategies related to communication and information in all government agencies. Approve the mechanisms necessary for the implementation of NCC's tasks and terms of reference. Any other tasks assigned to it by the Cabinet. NCC Board of Directors shall convene at least four times a year upon the invitation of its chairman at the specified time and venue. The chairman may invite the Board of Directors to an extraordinary meeting whenever the need arises. NCC's chief executive officer may be invited to attend the board's meetings without having the right to vote. The panel's meeting shall be valid if attended by the majority of its members, including necessarily the chairman. The board shall issue its resolutions by the majority of attending members in case of a tie, the side of the chairman prevails. The board of directors shall appoint a rapporteur from NCC's employees to prepare for meetings, write the minutes and carry out any other tasks assigned to them by the board or its chairman. The board of directors may form subcommittees or work teams from its members or NCC staff in order to study one or more specific topics. These committees shall submit reports to the board on the results of their work. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the 33rd Asian Football Confederation AFC, AFC Congress held in Bahrain in the presence of FIFA President Gianni Infantino, AFC President Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials in the kingdom and continental and international sports leaders. His Highness congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and His Majesty the King's representative for human and Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports on Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim's re-election as AFC President for a third four-year term until 2027. His Highness also congratulated Saudi Arabia on winning the hosting of the 2027 Asian Cup. 
His Highness also congratulated Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim, hailing his contributions and efforts in the march of the Asian Confederation and in the development of the level of football. He affirmed that Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim's re-election reflects the support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister of Bahraini caters and competencies which enabled them to assume the highest sports leadership positions. Sheikh Khaled hailed the role of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in supporting and encouraging sports competencies to assume foreign sports positions. His Highness noted the distinguished status of Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim in the Asian and international football circles and praised the organization of the Congress for its positive effects in activating sports tourism and emphasizing Bahrain's ability to host the largest sporting events, wishing the AFC continued progress and success. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the President of the International Association of Athletics Federation, the IAAF, Prince Nawaf bin Mohammed Al Saud, and his accompanying delegation in the presence of GSA Vice President His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, GSA CEO Dr. Abdurrahman Askar, and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, Mohammed Abdul Latif bin Jalal. His Highness Sheikh Khalid welcome Prince Nawaf bin Mohammed Al Saud noting the efforts of the IAAF in developing athletics across the world countries stressing the keenness of Bahrain in reinforcing cooperation and coordination with the IAAF to advance the progress of athletics hailing the role and efforts of the IAAF His Highness also commended Prince Nawaf on his notable contributions to athletics regionally continentally and internationally for his part Prince Nawaf expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for the generous hospitality and warm reception praising the distinguished position of Bahraini athletics and the global, continental and regional achievements that made Bahrain at the, the forefront of developed countries in the game, wishing the kingdom further progress and prosperity. The Representatives uh, Council Speaker Ahmed al Msallam hailed the wide participation of state and society institutions in the various events, programs and activities which contributed to highlighting the importance of Bahraini Sports Day and achieving its desired goals. In light of His Majesty the King's support of the youth and sports, with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, he expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa for supporting Bahraini youth and developing sports activity. He affirmed parliamentary support for the youth and sports sector, noting that a sports day is a civilized form of the system of work and a healthy community and positive life. Shura Council Chairman Ali al Saleh praised the positive interaction shown by officials and uh, civil institutions, clubs and youth centers to participate in Bahrain Sports Day. He noted that this interaction affirms that Bahraini society's awareness of the culture of practicing sports. He added that the programs offered by the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister contributes to consolidating the importance of sports in building a healthy society capable of serving the country and making achievements in the comprehensive development process. 
Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa patronized the graduation ceremony of the first batch of students from the Vatel Bahra International Hospitality School in the presence of ministers, officials, and invitees. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah affirmed that investing in Bahrain's tourist infrastructure is, an important, is as important as investing in human capital to prepare qualified national cadres capable of managing this promising economic sector. To achieve the goals of tourism development in line with the goals of the Comprehensive Development March led by His Majesty King Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa and the plans of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He noted that this graduation ceremony represents a realistic connection and practical integration of the educational outputs with the requirements of the tourism and hotel labor market in Bahrain. The Deputy Premier has expressed pride in the young national energies who are ready to engage in the labor market and be an active player in achieving further progress and development of the local tourism industry thanks to the successful partnership with Vatel Group in France. For her part, the Minister of Tourism, Fatima Slerafi, commended the Deputy Prime Minister's patronage of the ceremony, which affirms the continuous support the tourism sector enjoys and the continuous encouragement for national competencies to integrate into this promising sector. She indicated that the development of the college is at the forefront of the ministry's priorities as it is a cornerstone for the development of the sector within the framework of the tourism strategy 2022-2026. She expressed appreciation for the commitment shown by the college to raise the level of work and tourism education in Bahrain and to graduate human resources that support the development of the sector. The deputy premier wished the graduates all success. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa participated alongside the affiliates of the Ministry of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, the Capital Municipality, Municipal Councils, the Capital Government Residence and several volunteering sports groups in a walking event marking Bahrain Sports Day and officially inaugurating Umm Al Hazm Walkway. Upon arrival, uh, the Deputy Premier was welcomed by the Minister of Municipal Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wa'al bin Nasr al Mbarak, Capital Governor Sheikh Rashid bin Abdurrahman al Khalifa, and several officials. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah affirmed the keenness of Bahrain, headed by His Majesty the King, and with the follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on offering the required infrastructure to encourage people to exercise and practice several sporting activities. He stated that the government, with the follow up of the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects, and in coordination with the relevant authorities continue to implement, uh, provide, maintain and upgrade public facilities across all governance of the kingdom, especially walkways with waterfronts for the enjoyment of the citizens and to encourage them to adopt a healthy life lifestyle and practice various sports.
The Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al-Khalifa attended the graduation ceremony for the Commander Trainers or Trainers First Course and 37th Commander Orientation Course held for officers, cadets and other ranks from the Interior Ministry and National Guard affiliates. In the presence of Chief of Public Security His Highness, the Southern Governor, the Ministry of Interior Under Secretary and Special Security Force Commander. The Minister congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al-Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, on the BDF's 55th anniversary. He added that His Majesty the King laid the first pillars of the BDF, which became a protector of the nation and its gains. General Sheikh Rashid valued the royal directives to enhance police performance and the development and modernization of the security system. He also congratulated His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of expressing pride in the BDF's competency and readiness thanks to the follow-up of His Royal Highness. He hailed His Royal Highness's keenness to support the development of security performance and facing challenges with competency. He asserted that training and development are essential pillars in the the development and modernization strategy of the ministry through adopting advanced scientific approaches and training standards to meet security requirements and enhance competencies. The Special Security Force Commander thanked the minister for attending and praised his directives to develop the force and the readiness of his personnel. He said that training is the core of security work and the foundation for development and modernization to carry out tasks with professionalism. The graduates then showcased practical skills which reflect a high level of efficiency and the training they received. The Minister of Interior congratulated the graduates and honored the top achievers. He urged them to make further efforts to fulfill their duties and hailed the organizers for their efforts and wished the best to all in serving the nation.
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif and Rashid Zayani, received the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of Kazakhstan, Mukhtar Tluberdi, on the occasion of his visit to the kingdom. Dr. Zayani welcomed Tluberdi, hailing the friendly relations between Bahrain and Kazakhstan and their keenness on enhancing bilateral cooperation. For his part, the Kazakhstan Deputy Premier has expressed pleasure at visiting Bahrain, commending the role of the kingdom in supporting the political cooperation and coordination between Bahrain and Kazakhstan within the framework of regional and international organizations. The meeting reviewed the friendship and cooperation relations between Bahrain and Kazakhstan and probed ways to consolidate bilateral cooperation for the common interests of both countries. It reviewed joint efforts in enhancing security, stability and progress in Asia for the benefit of the people and reinstated the importance of continuing consultations and joint coordination at the political and diplomatic level, in addition to unifying stances regarding various international issues and in all international forms. Cloberti has presented Dr. Zayani with the Medal of the Conference on Interaction and Confidence Building Measures in Asia in appreciation for his efforts in reinforcing joint cooperation between member countries in the conference. The Minister of Health, Dr. Z Jalila bint as sayyid Jawad Hassan, met UAE Minister of Health and Prevention, Abdurrahman Mohamed al on the sidelines of her participation in the 2023 Arab Health Exhibition and Congress. Dr. Hassan hailed the strong bilateral relations, noting the advanced level of joint health cooperation. The minister and the accompanying delegation toured the 2023 Arab Health Exhibition and Congress held at Dubai World Trade Center. She stressed the ministry's keenness to participate in these key exhibitions and conferences which are among the most important healthcare events in the Middle East and the world. She stressed the importance of the Health Exhibition in Congress, which is an opportunity to exchange experiences, innovations and new technologies to keep pace with the technical innovations, medical education and the latest studies and research in the field of healthcare. The Minister of Health also met with her Saudi counterpart Fahad bin Abdurrahman al Jalajal on the sidelines of her participation in the Arab Health 2023 conference and exhibition. During the meeting, the two ministers reviewed cooperation in the health field and the progress reached in light of the commitments of both kingdoms to strengthening bilateral cooperation at all levels within the framework of the long-standing historical relations that bind them. The Minister of Health also met GCC Health Council Director General Suleiman Saleh al-Dakhil on the sidelines of her participation in the 2023 Arab Health Exhibition and Congress. Dr. Jaila praised the efforts made by the GCC Health Council in supporting oral gulf fields and health initiatives, noting the panel's role in supporting health cooperation. The two sides discussed issues related to joint Gulf programs and initiatives, citing particularly the prevention and awareness schemes. The GCC Health Council Director General expressed thanks and appreciation for the uh, prominent role played by the Ministry of Health in Bahrain in supporting training programs and exchanging experiences. Every year on the 2nd of February, the Kingdom celebrates Bahrain Sports Day and today, the people of Bahrain celebrated the 7th edition of Sports Day. Members of society with all its governmental and private institutions participated in celebrating this day, emphasizing the role and importance of sports for all. The cabinet, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, decided that today would be half a working day in all ministries, government agencies and institutions to allow their employees to participate in the activities of Sports Day. Under the patronage of First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the activities of the 7th edition of Bahrain Sports Day organized by the Bahrain Sports for All Federation were launched. All national sports federations participated in the events of the Sport Village hosted by the Bahrain International Circuit, which includes all individuals and team sports. The Ministry of Health joined ministries, agencies, institutions in marking Bahrain Sports Day by organizing sports activities for all its employees and affiliates to achieve these sports, health and social objectives of this day and reinforce the concept of sports for all. 
as well as raising awareness of the importance of sports and its role in the life of individuals and the society at large. The activities of the Sports Day included checkups by the Protect Your Heart team, a walkathon, the soft opening of the Sports Health Club of the Ministry of Health, in addition to several other sporting and health events organized by the Nutrition Department and the Health Promotion Directorate. Marking Bahrain Sports Day, the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning organized a walkathon cycling and table tennis competition for its employees in Salman Town. Minister Amna bint Ahmed Ramehi affirmed that designating a day each year for sports activities reflects the keenness of the government in sports and its pivotal role in the progress of society.